Our top stories this hour. The Kazakh-made coronavirus vaccine Kazvak is going through the approval process of the World Health Organization. It is hard to talk about any deadlines yet. Overall, there are four stages, and we are currently on the first. Online Kazakh language courses are now offered in 12 different countries. Stay tuned. What kind of new trees do Kazakh residents prefer, real or artificial ones? What's the biggest hit this holiday season? Find out in our News Digest. The Kazakh capital has returned to the yellow zone for the COVID-19 spread. 85 new positive cases of infection were confirmed in Nur Sultan in the last 24 hours. The North Kazakhstan region accounts for the second highest single-day case load in the country. 74 new cases were detected there in the past day. The third place is shared by Kostanay and Pavlodar regions, each registered 51 new cases. Overall, Kazakhstan reported 477 new infections in the last 24 hours. Since the onset of the pandemic, total COVID-19 cases in the country have passed 984,000. According to data from the Kazakh Health Ministry, over 18,000 residents continue to receive treatment for coronavirus. About 3,000 of them are in inpatient care. At present, over 8,450,000 Kazakh citizens have been fully vaccinated against the virus with two doses. The WHO registration of Kazakhstan's homegrown coronavirus vaccine Kazvak is at the initial stage, the former health minister said. According to Alexei Tsui, the process of vaccine approval by the World Health Organization is a complex multi-stage process that takes a long time. Moreover, this is the first such experience for Kazakhstan. The WHO country office in Kazakhstan provides advice on this matter. Пока сложно срока говорить, все зависит. Там просто вообще в целом там порядка четырех этапов. It is hard to talk about deadlines yet. Overall, there are four stages, and we are currently on the first. The process involves several visits of the expert team. And of course, it is also the construction of the plant, the completion of all the construction sites, all these things. We have never had a vaccine manufacturing plant in Kazakhstan. It's only been built recently. It must be accredited according to international standards. Each process takes some time. Его сейчас международными стандартами аккредитуют и так далее. То есть каждый процесс занимает какой-то период времени. Russia registered a new drug for the treatment of coronavirus called MIR-19. Its peculiarity is that it stops the virus replication in the body without affecting the human genome. It is effective against the new variant Omicron as well. The drug initially was used to treat patients in less serious condition and it proves its effectiveness. So far, the medicine is allowed to be used only in hospitals. The developers plan to study its effect on an outpatient basis. Only after that it will go on sale. The United States approved the first bill against coronavirus, representatives of the Food and Drug Administration announced. The new drug, called Paxlovid, can be used both by adults and children from 12 years of age. It's primarily recommended for people at high risk of developing a severe course of coronavirus. It will be dispensed with a doctor's prescription. It is advised to prescribe it as soon as possible after confirmation of the diagnosis and within five days from the appearance of symptoms. So I'm very, very, very confident that uh, this uh, drug works for all known mutations, including the Omicron one. But we are working on follow-up drugs uh, for the eventual case that maybe a resistance is developed. But Turkey approved its own coronavirus vaccine called Turkovac. It will be open to use as early as next weekend. Mass production of the inactivated drug has already been established. It was developed by local scientists. Trials began in April 2020 on animals at first. Turkish president said that he would try to make Turkovac available worldwide. At the moment, the country provides a Chinese-made vaccine Sinovac and Pfizer BioNTech for its population. Turkey became the ninth vaccine-producing country in the world.
Almost 2,000 schools have been built in Kazakhstan during the 30 years independence. Another 1,000 schools will be built by 2025. Of these, more than 100 educational institutions will be built under the PPP mechanism. This was announced by Vice Minister of Education and Science Bibigulia Silova. This year the country had put into operation more than 200 new schools. Together with the local administrations, we drew up a plan on which street, in which settlement, in which place and in what year this or that school will be built. Starting in December, the mayors and governor's offices should begin developing the relevant documentation and carry out the construction of these facilities strictly according to this plan. These are 101 schools across Kazakhstan. Presently, 31 contracts for the PPP construction are already in various stages of development. Some have already already concluded it, and some have announced a tender. According to experts, this accelerated pace of school construction in the country is due to a large influx of new students. For example, while 150,000 children graduated school this year, almost 400,000 were admitted to the first grade. Thus, by 2025, the country may need up to 1 million additional student places. In order to eliminate this problem in advance, the head of state gave instructions and the new format of public-private partnership projects was developed and launched. Overall, we have had only four schools built in our country under the standard PPP mechanism since independence, which is not enough. Last year, when we started the pros and cons, we worked with the city of Nur Sultan to develop a new mechanism for a PPP project in the field of education. The main goal is to build this project in the shortest possible time and reduce the amount of paperwork. We also introduced two components. The new PPP format will attract domestic and foreign investors and developers. The state will be preoccupied only with educational activities and the technical operation of the facility will be provided by a private partner developer. At the end of the PPP contract, the school will be transferred to communal ownership. Experts say that another advantage is that this approach also reduces the burden on local budgets. Online Kazakh language courses for compatriots who want to learn their mother tongue were opened in Turkey, Russia, the US, the UK, Belgium, Germany, France, Iran, Kyrgyzstan, Ukraine, Mongolia and Belarus. The Watan the Star Foundation project was launched in 2019. According to its spokesperson Didar Bola, the number of those who want to speak Kazakh is increasing every year. At present, 31 online classes in 12 countries run on an ongoing basis. In addition, seven countries offer offline classes as well. Preparations have been underway since 2019, during which we conducted a study on the knowledge of the Kazakh language in several states. As a result, it was decided to open Kazakh language classes in 24 cities in 12 countries. In 2020, we launched our own training program, delivering equipment to all of these locations. About 1,000 Kazakh lessons were conducted in these two years, and about 2,500 children took part in them. Kazakh language classes are held two to three times a week for four hours a day. They are held jointly in Kazakh Russian, Kazakh English, Kazakh Turkish and Kazakh Persian languages. It started when we managed to cover the Iranian Afghan states. <laughs> The goals of the Otanda Star Foundation are to support Kazakh cultural centers abroad, as well as to develop and expand humanitarian and business ties with Kazakh associations and other public associations of compatriots. In total, in 2021, the foundation held more than 40 events with the participation of over 4,500 Kazakhs from 20 different countries. The World Nomad Games were included in the UNESCO Intangible Heritage List. This is not just a status, but an opportunity to preserve historical self-identification in the context of globalization. Overall, this year, the organization announced 59 nominations from all over the world. Kyrgyzstan, with its idea of holding the World Nomad Games, became the number one. According to experts, the nomad competitions were included in the UNESCO list largely because they managed to revive interest in the ethnosport traditions of the nomad cultures of the peoples in the world. 
This platform serves not just to preserve our culture, our sports, national sports, but also helps promote and preserve other national sports. Therefore, today this game is recognized as the international platform for the preservation of cultural heritage. We are certainly happy to make our contribution, so to speak, to such a big event. We would be glad to be added to the UNESCO list as the World Cultural Heritage. It will be a great honor for us. After all, it's a very important task to keep traditions and pass them on from generation to generation. The idea of holding the ethnosport competitions of nomad peoples was approved back in 2012 at the summit of the Turkic-speaking countries, which was attended by presidents of Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Azerbaijan and Turkey. The first World Nomad Games took place two years after on the coast of a resort area in Isakul Lake, two more later. Competitors from Kazakhstan have always been medal winners. Pantotherapy is gaining momentum in Kazakhstan. This service has become available all year round in the east of the country. Such a unique and environmentally friendly treatment is in great demand. People come there not only from all over Kazakhstan, but also from neighboring countries. Previously, tourists were received only from the end of May to July. According to industry representatives, year-round service helps to reduce the cost of operation of tourist zones. In the local farms of Katonkaragai National Park, the center of morale breeding farms, almost 3,500 head of the these animals are bred. 85% of all antler products in the country are produced there. Since many of our guests don't have a chance to receive treatment in summer, we decided to work in winter as well. Someone works in this period, and it happens that people have more time in fall or in winter or in spring. Since we do not have clinics in Katonkaragai that work during these seasons, we decided to try so that people could experience, see and learn what velvet antler therapy is. The second, third course has already shown that people feel the surge of energy. To Today we have made, one might say, great achievements in climbing the mountains. Only a few days left until the new year. People in Kazakhstan are buying new trees for holiday spirit. Fortunately, the market presents a wide range from live to artificial, from classic to ultra-creative green trees. Traditionally, live pines and spruces are popular among Kazakh residents. They are brought from foreign seed plots. According to sellers, the cost of the favorite New Year's tree varies from 5,000 to 15,000 tinge. The higher the tree, the higher its price. The most popular tree of this winter is live Siberian spruces in pots. They they can be rented from 18,000 tinge. The prices went high, but not really. It comes more costly to bring trees here. Tracking rose in price as well as in Russia. Artificial pioneer trees also rose in price. The composition of such a tree should not contain harmful formaldehydes and phenol. The average price starts from 50-60 thousand tinge and can reach half a million. 